Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto Fork. As always, I am making short videos, interesting videos with the most important information. Just a few hours ago, we get the inflation details that was a very, very negative and you can see the negative effect on the stock market, on cryptocurrencies market, on gold, silver, crude oil, and of course on Euro. While going to speak about the most information, the most important information that you might must know of course and we are going to speak de um, about the details about why the CPI inflation is so so negative so welcome to my channel if you like cryptocurrencies you like to invest in cryptos and you like to hear news about cryptocurrencies then click on the like button click on the subscribe button if you got any questions about cryptos after this video you can always ask me in the comments below i am always reading all the comments and answering on all of them so let's start with this very very important with this emergency video about cryptocurrencies the price for Bitcoin is 80,400 US dollars for one with Bitcoin. We already broke the crazy, crazy support that was for Bitcoin for 18,500 US dollars for one Bitcoin. We fell by 1,000 US dollars in Bitcoin. It means by 3.6 percentages. Um, this is a very, very huge, huge dump to the downside. Of course, we are going to speak. I am going to show you the next support levels for Bitcoin and, of course, for Ethereum that fall by six percentages in the last 24 hours. And, of course, in Ethereum, we broke as well the crazy, crazy support of 1,300 US dollars, 1,250. This was a crazy, crazy the diapason of the support for Ethereum. And we broke it as well. This is very, very negative. Unfortunately, I think that for the short term, this is just the beginning of the next dump. The prices for top 10 cryptocurrencies like ADA, Ripple, XRP, Solana, DOT, if you like, Atom is falling as well. Crazy dump by Atom by 8 percentages. The price for one Atom right now is just 11 US dollars. By the way, um, Cordano, Ripple XRP, Sol, Dot, and Atom. This is my cryptocurrencies that I am buying for my next bull market. Um, click on the subscribe button. In the near future, I will make a video about my portfolio for the next bull run. Um, who don't know and seeing my video for the first time, I'm investing in cryptocurrencies since 2016. Um, I'm building my portfolios, changing my portfolio. So if you're interested to understand my point of view, then click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button guys and let's continue with this very very important video about cryptocurrencies so we can see that after um after we saw the cpi details we can see this crazy dump for cryptocurrencies but actually what is um very why i'm so afraid and why i think that this fall will continue is because we don't see any pump since the crazy dump yeah it's always happening like we're seeing a huge huge dump and then we must see a pump it means that there is a buyers at these levels but here we are seeing in ethereum of course i will speak about bitcoin as well and in a few minutes we are going to speak about the bitcoin's next support levels we can see this crazy dump to the prices of 1190 with ethereum and right now we, we can see that uh, the ethereum price is just rise by 20 us dollars this is a very very small amount in percentages this is about one percentages this is very very small it means that there is no buyers unfortunately in these levels in the near future in the next minutes i will show you where um where there is uh, the next support level for ethereum and for bitcoin in the Bitcoin, you can see the same situation. We fell by 18,200 US dollars. Right now, we are at 18,400 US dollars. The same crazy dump to the downside and a small pump just by one percentage. This is a very, very small. It means that there is no buyers, unfortunately, for Bitcoin and for Ethereum. And this is because of the bad inflation details. Of course, we will speak about that exactly in a few minutes so we can see that there is a 
um, small li liquidation in the cryptocurrency markets in the last 24 hours liquidated just 250 million US dollars. Um, this is a very, very small liquidations because when the liquidation they are high, um, there is about 700, 800 of million of US dollars as liquidated. We can see that there is small activity in the cryptocurrency market. As I'm telling always, this is positive and negative news so let's speak about the gold about the silver prices that actually everyone is expected right now the gold and the silver prices are spiked to the to the upside because this is like the safe haven against the inflation but we can see that in the last half a year nothing is happened to the gold and nothing is happening to the silver i think that unfortunately it's going to continue because gold and silver in 2022 is not gold and silver that it was in 1917 that it actually was the safe haven right now with the internet i think guys that the safe haven is of course bitcoin but for the long term we can see that the oil prices are falling as well we can see that the 10-year bonds are rising by 3.4 percentages this is very very negative news to our cryptocurrency market to all the stocks market and uh, we will speak about the stocks just in the near future as well we can see that bloomberg are making lives about s p 500 that fall by 1.3 percentages nasdaq 100 that fall by two percentages we can see the comments that everyone is actually right now kidding about the OPEC meeting that actually this situation is very very negative right now for the stock and for the cryptocurrencies market of course gold silver we already spoke about that be careful i don't think again this is my just my point of view again i'm low i'm not giving any financial advices my point of view gold and silver i'm shorting them in the in the at, at least uh midterm of course because i think that right now this is not the safe haven let's speak about euro that actually fell again below 0.97 this is a very negative news for euro for all the eurozone actually then the the situation right now is very bad it means because of the bad inflation um details i think that the federal reserve in november will rise the rates by 0.75 percentages even maybe by one percentages um it can happen because the inflation there is no control on the inflation guys and this is very very bad for the euro they don't have right now gas they don't have right now oil cheap oil i'm speaking about cheap oil and about cheap gas that actually very good uh for all the eurozone it's not happening right now and this is very very negative so finally let's speak about the inflation that right now hit 8.2 percentages in september this is above the market expectation by 8.1 percentages i just want to remind you that even inflation by 8.1 percentages this is very very negative um details this is very very negative results because we didn't fall from let's say an example from 8 to uh, 5.8 percentages when the expectations was 5.6 percentages this is very important to understand that right now the federal reserve the central banks are rising the rates with all-time highs by 0.75 percentages maybe in the near future we can see even by one percentages um, and by then you you don't see that actually there is any control on the inflation this is very very negative news this is very very important but the most important inflation details this is actually the cpi core and it means the most important things that uh, all the humans are need and this is actually food and energy without energy you don't have internet you don't have nothing you don't have any globalization and of course you without food you can't exist we just hit the new all-time highs for the last 40 years at 6.6 .6. and this is the most important inflation even information even more than this inflation of 8.2 percentages that's actually negative as well by the way guys we have a twitter channel where we are publishing the most um the most um 
important information you can click on the link below and go to our twitter guys where we are publishing this information so this is the most important information of the inflation where the federal reserve is looking at and right now we are hitting the 40 years all-time high for food and energy guys just imagine what can happen if these details will write and if these numbers will write for the next months if the inflation numbers for food and energy will rise in october as well and and the and the numbers and the details for the next months will be 6.8 percentages the inflation for food this is the most important thing and right now let's speak about very positive news let's speak about hash rate that actually break the all-time high this is very very positive for bitcoin for the long term because you must understand that the people who is mining bitcoin the people who is breaking these all-time highs this is big companies big corporation that investing hundreds of millions tens of millions of us dollars in uh, creating new bitcoins in mining bitcoin and this is very very bullish news for the long term as i'm telling you midterm and short term exactly i am i am expecting unfortunately unfortunately for bearish market as i told you before i am waiting for bitcoin for at least numbers of 16000 us dollars for ethereum 600 700 us dollars of course we are going to speak about the support levels i didn't forget about that don't worry uh, but in the short term and in the mid term of course bearish market long term always bitcoin will rise uh, with everything that what happening right now with federal reserve and all the banks around the world are just printing money this is a fact guys and of course a lot of community members are asking me about the support levels for bitcoin and for ethereum after we broke the last support level for bitcoin that was 80,500. i really like to see at these levels where we was uh, in 2017 because here we have much higher volume than here when we was here just for one week here in 2017 we was for um one month and a half uh, so actually i think that the, the next the next support level for bitcoin is unfortunately just at 60,000 us dollars again i don't think that we are going to touch this level in the next days and in the next weeks we can touch these levels even in november like in one month we can touch these levels i think that actually 20,000 and 60,000 this is a good prices to buy bitcoin again if you are investing in the long term i am it's a not a financial advice but um this is a zone of capitulation um it's very important to see how we are we will close this week because here if we are closing this week this is will be very very bearish for the bitcoin prices for the next months let's speak as well about the ethereum prices that right now we broke the 1250 that was the last um the last support level for ethereum as i'm looking at bitcoin the same i'm looking at ethereum the next support level for ethereum is 1100 us dollars we already touched these levels at 2017 for four for four weeks in 2020 we touched this these levels twice and of course it was our last support level in june 2022 i think that the next stop is 1100 us dollars for one ethereum if we are breaking if we are breaking rise this level this is going to be very painful very bearish i think that the next stop it will be around here about 900 even 700 us dollars for one ethereum let's see what will happen this is why i'm telling you guys click on the subscribe button and the like button to see the most important information about cryptocurrency stock market gold silver oil and what's happening right now in euros a lot of community members are asking me about which stocks i am i i can prefer to buy in the next bull markets um so actually uh, i will buy of course micro strategy uh, that this company is investing and buying bitcoin this company have more than 100,000 of bitcoins in their wallets i am very bullish on micro strategy on michael seller and what this company is actually doing the next two companies that i am very very bullish for the next bull market is riot blockchain these two companies 
um, and Mario Digital Holdings, these two companies, they are actually mining Bitcoin. Um, and I think that the mining Bitcoin and all the companies that actually investing in Bitcoin, believe in this industry, they are going to be the future guys so thank you very much for watching my videos click on the like button subscribe button again if you have any any questions you can ask me in the comments below thank you very much for watching my videos see you in the next cryptocurrency videos bye bye